welcome to another edition of Monday Sucks. My name is Luis, as always, I haven't changed my name yet, and I'm actually recording this on the Monday that I'm going to post this, because I lay down in my bed at like 11 o'clock or, or 12 or something like that, and uh, I was watching Criminal Minds, one of the best shows ever, and I was like, oh, finally I can sleep and it's Sunday. And I'm ready for school tomorrow with some of the homework. Some of them haven't I done it then. <gasps> I haven't made a Monday socks. And uh, now I'm doing it. So I talked about Tumblr last time. Actually, just a little of it. And I showed you my really bad humor. And I want to talk about something else from Tumblr. And it's just because Tumblr is like a wonderful place with, you know, rainbows and butterflies and ice cream and oh, everything good in the world. And porn. I want to talk about fan fictions, specifically YouTube fan fictions. Because a couple of months ago, I heard there was like fan fictions of famous you YouTubers. If I could talk, I would say YouTubers. And I heard there was one of Ian and Anthony of Smash. And I really, you know, I was like, oh, it's Smash! Oh, cool! Someone is writing a story about them. That is pretty freaking awesome. But. <laughs> What I didn't know is that fan fictions are usually gay porn. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just don't want my favorite YouTubers to be involved in that. And I didn't know that that fan fiction happened to be a gay porn story about Ian and Anthony. And conveniently enough for this episode of Monday Sucks, I found the fan fiction again. And I want to read a little of it. If you want to read it, you have to find it yourself. I'm not going to link it because you're scarred for life. You get pictures in your head and uh, it's really gross. But <laughs> that's why I want to share it with you. Come on. I'm just gonna jump in some of it. Okay. <clears throat> Ian stared up at the cloudy gray sky, faintly lined with deep blue streaks where the clouds parted to let a haze of night fall down onto the darkened city. And yada yada yada, he looks at the sky, blah blah blah. And then Anthony comes. What are you doing down there? Anthony chuckled, grinning down fondly as his warm brown eyes scanned Ian's sheepish expression. Nothing, just watching the sky, hopefully. Oh, give it up, Ian. And he offered his hand out. <laughs> it's not snowed here for like 10 years, so it's definitely overdue then, right? Ian slid his fingers into Anthony's pulling himself up off the carpet and twisting the world back into its rightful place. Maybe this year will be the year. It's not that bad right now. It's a sweet thought, but I wouldn't count on it. The weatherman's already made it clear that we're to expect rain tomorrow. It's not allowed to rain on Christmas Day, I'll kick the crap out of the sky if it does. Anthony laughed and wrapped an arm around Ian's waist, pulling him in close as he pressed a soft little kiss against his temple. God. Then they t chase each other, and then Ian says, Don't make me cuff you to the chair. The chair? What What good would I be to you on the chair? Well, we fucked on the chair before. In fact, that chair. <laughs> no! And uh, that's just a little of that, and uh, it's... It gets really uh, dirty and it's a very long story. And then there's a story on Tumblr that is wandering around right now. And that Smash story seems like it's really not just for fun, but it's really, you know, she really went into it and really, you know, took her time to write that story. And this Jack Buskis story, Jack's Films and Tobuskis. And Tobuskis is currently one of my favorite YouTubers ever. So it was really weird reading this, it's not even done yet. And when I read some of it and it came to some of the, you know, not dirty parts, but more gayish parts. Well, it, it had come to some of the dirty parts. I was like, Jack's films and Tobuscus porn everywhere on my dash. Porn, porn everywhere. And then uh, Taylor, aka mosakra.tumblr.com, uh, wrote to me that it was just uh, for fun and we just want to see people's reactions to this because she really she loves Toby as much as I do if not more uh, if that's possible so I want to read some of that to you too because uh, now that we're 
<laughs> so I shouldn't do it. Okay. It was just a normal day. Jack got out of bed, took a quick shower, and slid in his favorite Angry Birds tea boxes and a pair of jeans. While he was sitting on his couch watching some videos on YouTube, he got a text from his best friend Toby to come over and hang out for a while. So of course he went. But once he got there, he was surprised that Toby didn't answer the door right away. Of course, Jack only rang the double out of common courtesy, usually. Is that courtesy? Courtesy? I don't know. Usually, Toby just screamed loudly from across the house to Get the hell inside, girl! With a shrug, Jack opened the door anyway and stepped inside. He was immediately greeted by Griffin who ran over and barked once up at him. Hey buddy, where's Toby? Jack asked as he squatted down and scratched the little Fossasaurus head. Griffin barked again and turned away from him, droning off. Jack stood up and followed him. Toby, where are you, man? He asked the house loudly, catching sight of Toby briefly before realizing it was just his self-portrait he had hanging on the wall. Jack chuckled to himself and shook his head, but jumped when he suddenly heard the sound of skin-on-skin -skin contact. Toby was undoubtedly jacking himself off. Jack could hear Toby's small whimpering noises, and it took every fiber of his being to not run out screaming, Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Toby was his friend. The least he could do is to act he didn't just hear him touching himself. So he waited until his he hit his climax before moving once again. He cleared his throat quietly before speaking. So what can we learn from that? When you go to the internet, there will be porn. Like, no matter where you go, there will be porn. And you just have to realize that. And I realized that after I read the Smosh fanfiction. I know the Jack Buskis story is just, you know, for fun. And I can see the entertaining in it, you know. I think it's pretty funny. You can hear it on my nervous laugh. But seriously... <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much it. I haven't played any game. I'll see you next Monday. You'll see Eva on Friday on the new Fuck Share Friday. And... Oh yeah, conveniently placed Monday Sucks thing, right? I think I want to do the Monday Sucks from here. Just standing on the TV. Down from the TV, girl! <laughs> oh my god, porn. And next week, it's Halloween! Woo! I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's Halloween, okay. <laughs> Bye! What? It was no secret how much Toby liked to touch his nipples.